Greetings and welcome back to Animal Revolt Battle Simulator, or ARMS. In our last episode, we attempted to complete the Rise of the Apes campaign, but unfortunately ran into a problem with the last scenario, which was a little bit challenging. I have looked at the footage of my gameplay and I do believe that I was making a rather serious mistake. Let's say a costly mistake. So I'm going to attempt to rectify that. If we can get past this and complete this scenario, as I said in the last episode, we're going to jump into the sandbox. And I have prepared for that. We're not going to have a plain battleground anymore. So let's just get this done so we can go have some fun, right? All right, Rise of the Apes. And of course, it was this one right here. They don't really have names, do they? The scenarios. They should have names. All right, what I was attempting to do was to blow up the two large individuals, you know, the demon guys, who had um, machine guns on them. The thing is, I was attempting to do that with multiple guys. You know, the scimitar guys, the guys with the hooks? I was using multiple ones, but I only really need one of them for each, and then load them up with dynamite. So we're going to see what we have left over. I can't put them in the front because, remember, these guys are going to be shooting. So I still do need some uh, cover sacrifices. So first things first, let's see about setting these guys up. All right. All right. So let's, uh, let's get to work. We need to put them in front. Of course, this is us right here. And we're using these guys, the Scimitarilla because they have a hook. All right, we're gonna do this and this. I'm pretty sure we tried two pieces of dynamite. I think we used two guys and each had one because we do have a cost problem here. All right, so what I'm gonna see is, can I put four pieces of dynamite on each of them? So let's see, because I do want to blow them up. All right, let's see. One, two, Three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, so that was 320 of my, um, my cost. I would really like to have two gorillas. In fact, I'm going to put the big guys, I mean, of course, because they're all basically gorillas. I mean, they're apes, you know, but I want the big guy, right? Uh, let's just see what we can do about that. I think if we get those other guys out of the way and these guys have a chance to do their thing, it will be a lot easier, right? Uh, like I said, though, we do need sacrifices, so sacrifices must be made. It's for the good of the apes. All right, so that's the thing. Should I, um, should I put more dynamite on them or should I just have some more fighting here? Look, if these guys don't get the job done, it's lost anyway, right? And I need these guys to be shot at. So maybe what we can do is, let's think. Can I put one of these guys down? No, I'm short. Maybe I put a whole bunch of poo guys. Thing is, I don't want them blowing up my own apes. So ape must not blow up ape with poo. You know what I mean? All right, let's see. I'm a little bit leery of doing that over here. I guess I could put them back a little. And then I'm just going to put more of these guys on the line. Maybe some of them can survive. I don't know. Maybe. Or maybe I should just go with another. You know what? It's pretty important that these guys succeed, isn't it? So why don't we do one more each? All right, so that pretty much cleans us out, I believe. I don't think I can have any more. Six. Oh, I can have one more. Uh, poo guy. I'll put a poo guy like over here. All right. So basically, we need these two guys right here to sacrifice themselves for the greater good and blow those guys up. If they don't blow those guys up and they're not dead... This whole thing is for nothing. So what we're going to do is we're going to set it up right here and we're going to hit the start button. 
Okay. Are they dead? Hold it a second. He's nearly dead. That's not good enough. Uh, because they're going to be standing back and shooting. Oh, that's actually really bad. Oh, no! Okay. No, 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 no. Kill him! Oh. Yeah, he killed, he killed the ape. Ape must not kill ape. But then again, demon must not kill ape either. I'm going to run that one again. Because I think it was just dumb luck. You know, I think they got caught on this. Here, hold it a second. Let's um, give this guy a little bit of space. Right? And we'll put him here, here, here. Oh, I'm putting poo guys down, ain't I? Okay, well, you know, that's not such a big deal, right? Um, actually, I need one more poo guy, I guess. All right, because I think they hit them. All right, let's run that again. Okay, the other guy just didn't explode. Right, I mean, the other guy didn't explode. What happened there? Let's try that again. I want to see that again. Because, I mean, the guy over here definitely exploded. The other guy didn't. Oh, he hit them in the front line. That's a problem. Okay, he fell over. Why did he fell over? Is he tripping on his own guys? That's a problem. Maybe I should move them back a little. All right, let's just see. All right, we need a wider berth in here, don't we? Okay, he can go this way. All right, let's go with the Berserkers. I want them to be the ones who are getting shot at, but I want a nice open lane here, which I'm not getting. Okay. Are they dead? Okay, come on. Help him! He's getting doubled up on! Oh, that's it. It's all over. It was the machine guns. And... Splato. Okay, so yeah, it was the machine guns that made the difference. Um, the big old apes there could handle everything. Matter of fact, how hurt are they? Okay, one guy's really hurt because he was getting surrounded. There were two of these guys pecking at him. The other guy finished off his and then came back over, so he could have uh, done a whole lot more fighting. Right, once you blow them up, it's all done. Somebody could have picked these up and used them. Okay, and we are done with Rise, and then we got an achievement too. Rise of the Ape campaign completed. All right, so let's uh, head back. All right, so the next one would be Fantastic Beasts. We'll work on that one next time. But we have some stuff to do. All right, so let's jump into the sandbox. All right, so we're going to goof around, but I noticed the last time this is really plain. Really, 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 really plain. Not very interesting at all. So I actually went to uh, the workshop and I pulled up two maps, both very good maps. I had to, I pick one and I had to alter it. Uh, I'm going to show both of them off. One of them I don't think is entirely appropriate unless we get giant creatures. All right, so let's just uh, load and we're going to step over here for a moment. Uh, this was the first one and it's even got sound effects too. It's got like crickets and such. Uh, the problem is that it's like trees. So if I had like little guys in there, you wouldn't be able to see them. So I'm thinking we put a pin in this one and use it some other day. By the way, this is called Plains, and I believe it was Tony Gazella. There's no D in it. So if you're interested in looking for it, uh, it was fairly easy to find. And as I said, it's pretty darn good indeed. Um, and it's even got the sound effects. Now the other one I think is more appropriate, but I did have to make a change. 
So let's just go over to here. And I'm sure you can probably recognize where this came from. This is Arbs Royale. And I believe this was from Elijah Dater. Hold it. Elijah Tater underscore wiki. But I did have to make a change. You'll notice team one actually has a cost. And team two actually has a cost. Well, that's because of these. And it's really not as much the, the weapons, it's the blocks. You see the, the black blocks there? Notice it has a health on it because I toggled health on. Um, they're treated as, um, as enemies. So when these guys are done battling, they go and destroy the towers. Normally I would leave that. The problem is that I did a little test game. They destroyed the entire tower, but the entire roof stayed on. In other words, it was nothing holding it up, but it didn't fall, so it couldn't end. Oh, obviously, I took the weapons out, too. So, what I did... Oh, and by the way, this tile was missing. I did not accidentally delete it in the edit version. By the way, you just kind of saw the edit version a moment ago, so let's load this up. This is what I did here, so I edited it. Right, so the fact that that is missing is not my fault. All right, so I took the blocks and the weapons out, as you can see. And the cost for both teams da, 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 is zero. So they're just going to have to handle this on their own, which is kind of what I wanted. But I did want, like, uh, a little battleground. All right, so let's set up the sides. All right, team one. Who is going to be team one? Oh, and we will make an abomination. We absolutely will make an abomination. All right, let's see. Fantasy. Oh, we did that before. We did the Hydra. Let's see if there's something. Did we do reptiles? I don't think we did reptiles. All right, let's do reptiles. All right, let's think of a cost of maybe a thousand. Let's stay within there. All right, so who's the big guy? All right, there's the big guy. Oh, that's it. He's a big guy. All right, so let's flank him by a couple of his guys over here okay and let's think i got some more oh kimono dragons oh they're tiny aren't they okay they can be the fodder in the front okay 440 uh salt water crocodiles we can put some of these guys flanking yeah a lot of crocodiles in here huh okay how big are you uh not very big anacondas we can put some anacondas down you know i might be pressed for um how big is the big guy I guess I can put more devastating ones in here, right? And then maybe put another one of these guys in the back or something here. You, you. Okay, that's actually closer. All right. So can do I have anything that's worth six? All right. So you're not quite getting to um, a thousand. So let's see what we're gonna do over here. All right. Let's find. Um, first of all, let's switch teams. And let's find somebody else maybe we haven't used. Uh, Infernals, we definitely used those. Humans, that wouldn't be very fair now, would it? Uh, it? It wouldn't be fair if we gave them melee, and it also wouldn't be fair if we gave them, like, weapons, right? Um, we've seen a lot of them. Did we do mammals? I don't think we did. But I think I have to lay off of Rocket Ellie... Because it looks like it has a rocket launcher. Hold on a minute. Uh, hold on a minute. Yeah, I don't think that one is quite fair. All right. So we're not going to do that one. Uh, we do have elephants, though. So we can do, like, a lot of elephants. Here. We can... Elephant, 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 elephant. Whole line of those. Uh... Rhinos. Those would be good up front, wouldn't they? Okay, watching. All right, let's see. Uh, hippos. We can put hippos in the middle here. Okay, only 564 so far, so we do have space. Polar bear. Uh, oh, giraffes. Uh, we could put giraffes in the back and see what they can do for us. 
If nothing else, they can scout the enemy. Alright, uh... Yeah, I mean, I can't put that one in. It's got a rocket launcher. That wouldn't be fair, right? So the big one I can't use. I mean, these guys here, over here, were um, 140. So that's not really fair either. And if I put anything lower at this point, they're just going to be easily killed. So why don't we just keep going with elephants until we can't have any more elephants? Uh... Put another elephant back here. And I don't think I can do any more. All right, so... Do I have some? Okay, and we can put another rhino down. Okay, two more than the other one. Okay, this is going to be a real mess. Uh, these guys are stronger, though. So that's going to be interesting to see what happens here. Okay, the elephants are having trouble getting over the barrier. Oh, that's actually a problem. Oh, the other guys are getting slaughtered. They're not getting any heavy support. Okay, but if they come, if they come in there, they're in a lot of trouble. All right, I'm gonna have to delete that middle bar there. But you know, I think the mammals are gonna win because they have to jump into batches. Except for here, they're pretty strong over here. It's taking them a long time to kill that guy. Unless he's not actually dead. I mean, maybe he is dead, I should say. I find it ironic that it was the elephants who had trouble, the elephants and the giraffe who had trouble getting over that. Oh! Man, they are throwing elephants around. And how did you guys get over there? It is taking a while and there are a lot of, oh wow, there are a lot of elephants. Stand. Yeah, I think the mammals are gonna win this. I mean, there are still two very large uh, reptiles up, but I mean, there's also a whole bunch of elephants. And I do believe it's over. Wait a minute. Okay, one is nearly dead. One is dead. The other one doesn't have a lot left. See, that elephant got tossed. But he's getting up again. Okay, that one's dead. He's got to fight these two who are like almost full health. Okay. And he's doing the spinning thing, but he's nearly dead. He is dead. Okay, so yeah, unfortunately the environment uh, interfered. I just find it interesting that the little creatures had no trouble getting over here, but the uh, elephants and the giraffes got stuck. All right, I think I'm gonna have to delete that, but I thought that was a very interesting fight. All right, uh, can I, um... Wait a second. Yeah, I can. All right, you know what we're gonna do? I'm going to delete these, clear the battlefield. Actually, should I let the mammals fight somebody else? Yes, I will. Besides, it took a long time to set that up. All right, let me delete this, and then we'll see who we're going to fight on the other side. All right, now that that's done, let's find some opponents for modern mammals. All right, so mutant inmates, giant inverted. We did that one. What about... Ooh, that would actually not be fair, would it? But our costs would probably be a lot higher, wouldn't they? Oh, but the Branchiosaur, ooh. All right, well, you know what, let's try that. Let's put some of these guys down. Yeah, their costs are high, so you couldn't do a lot of them, right? But it's the thing is that some of these guys are just really tough. Like for instance, I mean, is it even fair at that point? Right? Okay, and if I put one of if I put some of these guys in. Hey, what do you know? They are actually Mr. Smiley's. 
Interesting. All right, and we'll we'll put some tanks up front here. Um, some purple tanks. Yeah, this is not going to be fair at all. Even if they uh, have a lower cost, not not at all. Not in the least bit fair. All right, let's see. Uh, I don't think I can put anything else down. Nope. Uh, you know what? I'm going to delete that. I'm going to put a couple of these paras up. All right. So technically it has a lower cost. But I have a feeling this probably isn't going to work out too well for the mammals. Let's see what evolution does here, right? Oh, wow. Just toss that guy through the air. It's the fight for evolution. You know, I think the mammals are actually winning. Okay, I didn't even know you could do that. Okay, there's one... There's two Triceratops up. There's three. No, is that guy alive? No, I don't think he's alive. He's like pushing him around. I'm the new version. Oh, wow, he just stepped on his head. Did you see that? Just stepped on his head. Okay, there's still a Triceratops up. Okay, here comes an Ankleo. He's just kicking him in the head. You see that? The branchy is going to be really hard to bring down. They're like ripping at his tail, though. There's still there's still a Triceratops up, but he's having trouble with an elephant. Uh oh! Look out! Okay, he's dead. If it was just him, they might do it. But the fact that there is still a Triceratops up is bad for the elephants and the mammals. And he's dead. Okay, yeah, that's the problem here now. This guy's been doing a, a job killing them off. It looks like the past will win evolution. Yeah, that one Triceratops who refused to die. They're destroying the battlefield. Like I said, that, that branch was going to be really hard to bring down. And he was the last survivor. Is there anybody else alive? Where are you going? Oh. He's alive. He's... He's just kind of hiding. I don't blame him. <laughs> He's like, I know you're there. I know you're there. I'm coming for you. Oh, he just dumped a building on him. He's like, really? I surrender. I surrender. No. No, I want to live. Oh, he just stepped on his head. Well, when you're that gigantic, you can do that. You know, I don't think I could top that one. I was thinking, okay, maybe I'll do it with the uh, carnivore dinosaurs, but I mean, that battle was epic. And there was one survivor. I think he's itching himself on the wall. Anyway, I think that's going to be it. All right, so let's get out of here. Oh, no, hold it a minute. There we go. Okay, I think that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to, if I'm going to use that map in the future, I'm going to have to delete those, that center bar, and then save it again. I just did a temporary one on that. But I'm going to look around for some other maps. Uh, I don't know. See, the thing is, the one with the trees, the plains, was really nice. But, I mean, if you had anything small, it would be a problem. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, but if we're using, like, giant creatures, because there are a lot of giant ones, 
then it would be pretty darn cool indeed, especially if they destroyed the trees. I don't know if it works that way, but I think that would actually be great. I know we were going to do some custom stuff, but that battle went on just too long, and you know what? I don't want to top that one. That one was just awesome. The next time we do Sandbox, we'll just start with mutated creatures and then put armies against them and then see how that works out. Anyway, thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games because games are fun. See you.